So in this video, we are looking at area. So in Euclidean geometry, the simplest type of plane region is a rectangle, right? Uh, now, although people often say that the formula for the area of a rectangle is A equals BH, uh, base times height, it's actually more proper to say that this is the definition uh, of the area of a rectangle, okay? Now, for this definition, you can develop formulas for the areas of many other plane regions. Now, our primary one would be a triangle, right? So to determine the area of a triangle, basically you just take and double that one. You take this one and double it. So we can see that we have our uh, base times height because we're adding this, 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 this. So we have total base times the total height, but the triangle is only half of that. This is where the formula or the definition of the area of a triangle comes from. Now, once you know that, you can basically determine the area of any polygon by subdividing it into triangular regions, okay? So if you have a parallelogram, you can split it in half. Hexagon, you can split it using the center going out to any of the vertices, right? Same thing with any polygon. Any, it doesn't have to be a regular polygon. It can be an abnormal polygon. Now, finding the area of regions other than polygons is eh, a little more difficult, okay? Now, the ancient Greeks were able to determine some of the formulas for the areas of these by using something called the exhaustion method. They just keep plowing at it, taking days, months, weeks, years, you know. Uh, the clearest description of this method was given by Archimedes. Now, essentially the method is a limiting process where you take two polygons, one that's inside the region and one that is outside the region. So one is inscribed in and one is circumscribed about the region. So looky here, let's talk about a circle, right? Notice that here, this is a circle, this is a circle. We're talking about circumscribing a polygon around that. But we're also talking about inscribing a polygon inside it. And notice that this is a hexagon. I let n equal 6. So notice if we let n be bigger, like n equals 12, we're talking about a 12-sided polygon. Notice the difference here. You've got a pretty big gap in here that we're missing. That gap has become a lot smaller the more I let n go up, right? And this, this is really cool because you'll notice that the circumscribed polygon is always going to be bigger than the inscribed polygon in terms of the area, okay? Uh, but as n gets bigger, those areas kind of get closer and closer to each other and to the actual area of the circle. So, if you have any questions about area and circumscribing and inscribing those circles uh, or any shape, make sure and shoot me a reminder or ask a question in class.